Yeah. The way of sun, sand, steam, and cherry all over. So you don't have to get done to Christmas. I'd like to share a Christmas tale with you. It happened one day in December's end. Some neighbours called on an old time friend. And they found his shop so meagre and mean, made gay with a thousand bales of bread. An old comrade sitting there with face ashine. And he suddenly stopped as he stitched the twine and he said, My friend, at dawn today, as the cock was crowing the night away, the Lord appeared in a dream to me. And he said, I am coming, your guest to be. So I've been busy with feet of stir, strewing my shop with branches of fir. The table is spread and the kettle is shined, and over the rafters the holly is twined. So now I sit and wait and listen, so I will hear his steps. As he draws near to my humble place, and I'll open the door and look on his face. So his friends went home and left Conrad alone because, well, this was the happiest day he had known. For long since his family had all passed away and Conrad had known many a sad Christmas day. But he knew with the Lord as his special guest, this Christmas would be the dearest and best. So he waited with only joy in his heart. And with every sound he would rise with a start and look for the Lord to be at his door, like the vision he'd had a few hours before. Then he, heard, he opened his window after hearing a sound, but all he could see on the snow-covered ground was a shabby beggar whose shoes were torn and all his clothes were ragged and worn. The comrade felt touched and he said, I have some shoes in my shop for you. I have a coat to keep you warm and too. And with grateful heart, the man went away, but Conrad noticed the time of day and the good Lord had not come, come as he said he would. And Conrad felt sure he had misunderstood. Then he heard another sound and he opened his door. But he stood disappointed once more. It was a bent old lady in a shawl of black with a bundle of kindling piled high on her back. And her eyes seemed to plead, don't send me away. Let me rest a while. It's Christmas Day. So Conrad brought her in and brewed her a cup and invited her to sit at his table and supper. And after he left, his heart was filled with dismay because all well, the hours of Christmas were all flitting away and well, the Lord had not come as he said he would. And Conrad was sure he had misunderstood. But out of the darkness, he heard a cry. Please help me and tell me, where am I? Once more he opened his friendly door, but stood disappointed as twice before. It was just a young girl who had wandered away and was lost from her family on Christmas Day. But Conrad brought her in and wiped her tears and quieted all her childish fears. Then he led her back to her home once more. But, as he entered his own darkened door, he knew that the Lord was not coming today, for the hours of Christmas had all passed away. So he went to his room and he knelt down to pray and he said, Lord, why did you delay? What kept you from coming to call on me? I wanted so much your face to see. But out of the darkness, a voice he heard. Lift up your head. I have kept my word. Three times my shadow crossed your floor. Three times I came to your lowly door. I was the beggar with bruised, cold feet. I was the woman you gave something to eat. I was the child on the homeless street. Three times I knocked. Three times I came in. Each time. I found the warmth of a friend. Of all the gifts, love is the best. And I was honoured to be your Christmas guest. Thank you. Thank you.